Hello, I'm Stephanie with Advance. And we're so happy to be partnering with your organization. In today's video, we're gonna take you through all the new features of your IFPD. So one of the great benefits of your new IFPD is that it can allow your team members within your organization to collaborate and work together in real time in a meeting setting when people are either working remotely or also on site. So one of the main components of your new IFPD is that it's simply a Windows 10 computer. So like any computer, your users can come and log in as himself or log in with admin credentials. You will also have access to all of your common programs that you may be using, any Microsoft applications like Word, your web browser, and any other software that you may be using. So there are many ways that you can connect your laptop to IFPD. You can connect by selecting the Windows K on your keyboard. You can connect through an HDMI cable and you can also download the IWD client. Now, remember, this is only good for Windows devices. It's not compatible with Mac. So now that we've covered the Windows 10 component of your IFPD, let's get in and look at your software. So the whiteboard software gives you the ability to host or join a whiteboard meeting. You can do that by selecting this computer icon here on the screen. One of the features on your IFPD whiteboard is your pen tool option. So this allows you to customize in different things that you may be drawing and making markups. You can draw on the whiteboard. You have other options here like uh, pen dissolve. You have type to text and you can add shapes and more. Another feature that you have is that you can import a file. So select import file, select your file from your location and open. So once you're finished with any markups or documents that you've added or created here, you can save everything as a PDF through your Save File tab here. If you happen to have your email configured, you can then also email the document. One of the features on your whiteboard is the ability to toggle back to your desktop page. And once you're here, you're able to take a screenshot. So I have a web page open. So I can take a screenshot of that web page. That now brings it back into my whiteboard software so I can make any markups on the document that I choose. So there you have it. If you have any additional questions, just give us a call here at Advance.